everyone, here I am again, day three, and um, early evening, so done pretty much day three now. Um, it's been a tough one today, I must admit. It's been a tough one from, um, I. the boys were home again today because it was bank holiday yesterday, so the school stayed shut today. Today's Friday, so... Um, yeah, it was hard because they wanted pancakes for lunch and so I made them pancakes. I found it quite difficult because pancakes smell so good. Like, you know, it's something that really smells when you're making them and um, I hadn't eaten when I did them. I'd only drank tea, so um, that wasn't such a good idea. I was kind of hungry, but I didn't have any. I didn't have any, but I found it a bit difficult today. I found it a bit difficult. That being a craving side of it. And the other side of it being that I've woke up this morning with this headache still from yesterday. It came on yesterday afternoon. I'm assuming it's just a detox, caffeine, withdrawal headache. But it, I woke up with it this morning. So it was like when I woke up, I immediately had this headache. It's been kind of working its way around my head all day, like from the front, around the sides, the back. And still there but it's easing off a bit now i um i did my half hours exercise i went cycling uh went shopping on the bike today so i kind of combined getting some bananas which we desperately needed because that was another big problem this morning i had no bananas so i couldn't make anything cool and tasty and stuff so um just made almond milk and drank that with a little bit of cocoa in and what else did i have this morning and tea i was drinking quite a lot of just just uh, red bush and lemon tea. I'm not quite sure of the English name. Red bush, maybe. Have you got a tea? Something like that. Just drinking lots of tea, just trying to keep myself flushed out because of the headaches and stuff. But this afternoon, we then went in the garden and did some gardening. We moved into our house like less than a year ago, and the garden is basically a building site with a bit of grass that's just kind of grown on top of it. So we're gradually doing bit for bit in the garden. And today we were finishing off the fruit beds. We've done a vegetable bed and we were finishing off the fruit beds today, filling them with earth and we can go to the market now tomorrow and buy some plants and um, plant some stuff. So, um, yeah, we were out in the garden, so got loads of fresh air today. And while we were doing the garden, I found, dee dee dee, I found a lovely big stinging nettle patch. And um, stinging nettle and dandelions just sprouting like you know up to my waist high really strong big leaves so I picked them I picked the stinging nettles filled my Vitamix half full with them whacked in a couple of bananas and some half a pineapple and here we go tea so yeah it was a bit sort of strong tasting the green. I usually use spinach which is very mild and um, stinging nettles are definitely much stronger but um, okay uh, the first glass was a bit hard to swallow but this this one's going down nicely now this is my second glass so um, yeah apart from that just kind of taking it really easy really slow um, yeah, just trying to get rid of this headache more than anything. Like, the headache's really killing me, and my coffee cravings are really strong. Like, it's the coffee cravings, they're hard. Like, you know, because I drank a lot of coffee. Um, I mean, that's pretty much why I wasn't vegan, because I drank milk in my coffee. And, um, you know, would drink an awful lot of coffee a day. You know, a good 10, 10 cups of coffee would be quite normal. And... Um, so I've probably got quite a, an addiction going there to the caffeine and uh, that's probably, I'm assuming, what's causing the headaches, whether it's even just normal detox. I mean, headaches belong to detox anyway. So, But the blood sugar levels, because I want to keep it short, but the blood sugar levels are really good. Today I've written them down. I don't know if you can see them there. 113, 193, 123 and 70. So those have been my blood sugar levels that I've done today, that I've tested. Um, so really nice levels and proof of the pudding is here in my blood sugar tester. Look, you can see now my average blood sugar for the last 14 days has now come down to 213. So it was 247 at the start. So it's, it's definitely making a difference. Like, it's not like 
Boo! I don't need insulin anymore. I'm ta still taking exactly the same amount, but, um, you know, obviously the levels are looking good. All right then, so I'm going to call it a day. I'm going to go and drink my nettle smoothie and see to my boys. Okay, then see you tomorrow.